Yeah, have you found um, the start to life at Newport County? Uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Um, I think I think that's a testament to the lads more than anything. Um, they've been really, really good and helped me settle in. Um, not just me, but all the other lads that have come in in the summer as well. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, we've been playing. We've been playing quite well. We've been content with the start we've had so far. So hopefully we can look to improve on that. Um, but yeah, no, so far it's going really well. I guess from a your selfish point of view, you you want to get get more starts now, don't you? After a... yeah, no, of course, everyone everyone in the team is wanting to start every game. That's what we're all fighting for and training and stuff. But you know, the most important thing is the team, and if the team's playing well and the team's getting results, then everyone in the changing room is happy. Um, but yeah, from a selfish point of view, um, starts would be great. But that's not to say that. Um, any that's anything above the team because no players above the team at the end of the day. So yeah, because um, the, the the return of Adam Lewis, I guess that that brought extra competition. Strike, uh, yeah, you know, probably made your route harder in, in a sense to the the starting eleven. Didn't it? it brought it brought extra competition, but that's never. I don't think anyway. In my opinion, that's ever a bad thing. You know, I think we cushion each other if anything um, and that's the same with every other uh, player that's got someone else in that position in the team as well um, and Adam's a great player you know he brings a lot to the team um, so you know it just if anything puts more emphasis on me to keep pushing him to try and get a place try and take his place but that's not that can't be a negative thing in my opinion because we're both making each other better I'd say so so yeah you're both in similar positions I guess in that you're, you're low knees in league two from really big clubs um how how hard is that in a, in a sense because you you are trying to ultimately you, your parent club is such a big club now um i wouldn't say i wouldn't say it's difficult because at the end of the day you know we're we're here to do the same thing you know we're all here to play games and we're here to do well and do everything we can for the team um but yeah of course being like having those names like above your head when you know say oh he's unknown from this club he's unknown from that club it it can like mean something but you know when you're in the training ground when you're on the pitch at the end of the day you're just football players you're playing football aren't you just trying to do your job for the team so um you don't really try and think about it i wouldn't say anyway how different how different are the newcastle that you're now at to the one you joined it is different it is different yeah um it is different in a in a much positive way. I think if you ask everyone that's had some type of involvement under both of the both of the regimes, they'd probably say the same thing. Um, but yeah, that football club's definitely on the way up, um, and I think everyone up there is really really happy about it. Is that that's still ultimately your aim is to 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 break into that side? Of course, of course it is. You know, because I think, and that's my aim because you want to aim as high as possible, and um, that's the same with everyone, isn't it? You know. If you're not aiming as high as possible, then you're probably not going to reach those levels. So, of course, you're going to aim as high as possible and then work as hard you can do to to reach that. Because you've had a bit of pre-season involvement, haven't you, with them? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I was involved in, I think it was three games last pre-season. Um, three games last pre-season. Um, one of them... Uh, against Benfica in their stadium, which was a great experience. Um, and yeah, no, I think that experience is different to the one I'm having now, but I think this one is probably more valuable than those ones that I've had. Um, so I'm just looking forward to, to pushing on. That's a stadium I like to, uh, yeah, crawl, <laughs> crawl away. It's a, but, um, now, you, do you feel you're learning, though, plenty as you as you go to, to help you push on? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I think... Not just not just about being a footballer and like the technical aspect of things, but also just being in the environment um, under the manager and uh, under the manager and Joe. I think they're two people that you can really pick their brain up about football. Um, I think you know they've they've had experiences in the game themselves, which is always a good thing. And to be able to work with them is definitely helping me helping me learn a lot of a lot of things about football and a lot of things about myself and being in a team men's environment. I'd say. As a group, you're all keen to to get back after last week. It's gonna be a tough one against. Yeah, you. yeah, definitely, definitely. We um we know we weren't good enough uh, at the weekend, but the good thing about football is you don't have to wait too long to to put things right and being able to 
be at home as well. Home form has been really good this season so far, and with the with the help with the help of the fans at Rodney, we'll hopefully hopefully be able to carry on that. Graham said you're gonna to have to battle for everything against Barrow. They're they're a tough old. Tough yeah, team. yeah, no, we um we will have to battle, but you know we've had to battle in every game that we've had this season, and we know we can do it. So it's just about being able to battle, and then when we when we do hopefully win that battle, it's about just having the quality to do the things we know we can do on the ball as well.